I'm dealing with. But when you start bringing me the powers and stuff, no, no, no. Yeah, go, yeah. go away, monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll take my calculator <laughs> Fermi equation elsewhere when I find out just how many teams I could possibly lab in this game. Possibly to a endless satisfaction ball. as we I forget things that I've learned and relearn them that endlessly. Something I've done in other fighting games I've engaged with for years at a time. And I have absolute intentions to engage with this one for years at a time as well. So we once again have Lord T-Rex on the Kenshi Darius, uh, who really surprised us earlier wow. in the matches. Sorry, it's such synchronous back and I forth know. walking. It's like <laughs> they're trying to match each other. Yo, just a drill to then get Goro. That was such a interesting play there from Sparks to really catch them off guard. A How many times? Block? That was twice in the flawless block. Okay, okay. So if that were flawless blocked, that means it would hit like a two-frame window of success. So if that... Uh, what's that move called? Tanya Spiral, whatever, Spiral Arrow, I don't know. What are we I, I, call, I call it Drill. Drill, yeah. If Drill were a little closer, that definitely would have hit, because it would have taken much time to travel there. Okay, Sento is now out, but once again, Sparks is going to try to find the way out. We're going to summon Goro to keep the armored wake up safe, but the sandwich, Sento is now out, and with the slightest down one, and then the back bash to then catch with her mid. Sparks is now up ahead, getting pressure going, keeping yeah. the corner, yeah, tries to go for another whiff punish. You see uh, Sento died over there. The sandwich never got formed. The bread left on the counter next to the plate it was meant to be assembled on. It went moldy, and Sparks paying dividends. Food poisoning from T-Rex on the attempted sandwich. Definitely see the attempt again to try to walk back. That is Tanya's best mid-starter. Like, literally, playing Tanya is exactly that walk back try to get that mid and then right. go for hit confirms. And we're seeing it here, Sparks playing such a patient game and really knowledgeable on some of the checks that Lord T-Rex is trying to accomplish here. We get the swing batter batter and that is a corner entirely owned by Sparks now. It's funny to say this, but playing Tanya Goro, you do really have to be patient because the Goro cameo recovery is the longest in the whole game. So not only do you kind of not even want to go in when you're at one Goro, but rather two, but also you hope the combo you land off of Goro lasts so long that you build some of him back. And you spend meter in order to make that happen. You'll see meter get spent here. Yep. On drill. And, and have they got a Goro the bomb back. too. That's great. This is perfect for Sparks, actually. It takes the cool sound effects and makes them even cooler. That's the buff. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we're going to get this drill once again. Buff is starting to cool down, though. Another flawless walk here from more T-Rex. He is trying to react to yeah. it, but we got the walk back into the whip punish, and this is Sparks' this entire round able to clean it for that first game. Of course, we want to sing the praises of Sparks for a convincing and one-sided performance, but I do like that uh, Drexy was able to save the breaker for when meter got spent from Sparks. Yep. Making Tanya go down one bar right on the drill before it hits. Right. It shows you're still aware, not shook. Um, and making resource informed decisions even while losing, not on tilt. It's very critical. Very, very critical. Down one Goro. Let's see if T Rex steps up with Darius behind to try and get Sento going. Got hit instead and great reactionary confirm off of the low breakdance. Here is Sparks making Tanya look like S6 Jamie. I think she's such a cool character compared to what she was in MKX. Like, you can see the elegance in a lot of her strings. A great armored wake up catches Lord T Rex off guard, also leaves Sento back in the corner. And really, Sparks doesn't have to worry too much. Called it out! That was crazy! Realizing yeah. that Sento was right out of cooldown and jumped and they avoided. Yep. Now he's fully disappeared. Yep, so that's two consecutive great plays from Sparks because, I mean, from Rex, because Rex also hit the Goro, and Goro's gonna be gone for a long time, still taking a while to recover. T-Rex also in range of a Fatal Blow kill combo. Could be useful for this round to save meter going for a kill. Gotta find the confirmable hit, though. Will Rex come off of Daria? Oh, it's dead. That's no that's breaker it. in time, yeah. Great patience, though, from Sparks. You know, you mentioned it there, too. Uh, once again, Goro's timer takes such a long time, but you could see that Sparks is really, uh, like, taking consideration. Oh, but the Darius interrupted, was trying to, uh, was I, I think Lord T-Rex was actually caught off guard, just like yep. the rest of us were. Totally caught off guard. Should have been mashing something, I guess. Okay. T-Rex, pretty even meter between both of them. Having to stand 
It's gonna have to be Michael now. Sento disappeared thanks to the cameo assist meter completely gone. This is another launcher. Now Sparks is gonna have to hit a couple of times here. We do get the buff going and tries to get that teleport to open up Lord T-Rex, but we're not really seeing it right now. Great Sento's defense. back again, and that defense really coming in clutch, like you said. Yep, using armor to kill Sento. The armor takes so Ooh. long, and then Goro can keep you safe off the armor so that you can basically freely pass through Sento so long as you're willing to spend the bar. I do like, too, Ooh. that great timing on the unsummon resummon. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back, he'll be back. Running out of space is Sparks, also running out of life. Maybe gonna try and find a raw drill to switch sides with. That would be a path to a victory here, but until then, the corner is gonna be really difficult. That was, the cameo died. Yeah, because of the amount of time that uh, Senta was getting hit and whatnot, but those kicks were just uh, too much. There's a lot of things that were really clutch here um, from both sides. We had the timer to worry about. We had meter to worry about. We also see, we're seeing Spark really understanding this matchup to a very specific degree. Yes, comboing off of armor in the process. Spark knockdown sets up a almost safe jump, but clearly proven unsafe by Kenshi's armor. Back forward two. Good defense right now here from Sparks, able to block the overhead, actually able to call out a lot. Now the cameo so far is slowly disappearing. Tried to walk back, but good call out from T-Rex. Learn the, from Yo, earlier rounds It's a before. no cameo round. It's They're, done. This is pure character right now. Yeah, Darius got hit. Goro got hit. All right, Darius is back. Let's see. Okay, good usage of the armor. Successful, certainly. Stole the turn, but it didn't even go through any armor, so whatever T-Rex picked was just too slow. What's here helpful here for Sparks is the fact that the buff is on. So this can lead into Amplify Projectile. This can also lead into uh, Teleport. This can lead into a lot of things for Sparks. But the kicks catching Sparks off guard in that last second. Yeah, forward four. Advancing mids and uh, plus one on block, I recall, just like smokes. It's a lot of forward fours in MK. They'll, in the moves list, be called Big Leg, and they will be plus on block. NRS loves playing uh, tribute to their own games, their own community. Mm -hmm. um, Dizzy Knee is eternally Johnny's 4 or 3. Shout out to Dizzy watching in the hometown somewhere, maybe back at home. And we just saw there Villette's uh, team member of Critical Reaction and uh, team member of uh, Sparks, too, giving some, some input. Sparks is doing an amazing job, but T Rex is quickly adapting, and that's something that um, we're going to have to see from both, both players as we get closer and closer to those match points. Yeah. We did Great get the launcher. This damage scales so much. I guess it's still worth it because you're still building meter and giving time for Goro to come back. Uh, you yeah. know what? You actually brought yeah. up a really good point. That yeah. is a pretty significant scaling. But you just want the time for Goro, your cameo timer. I think part of the reason is because of the way Tanya plays. And, and in essence, uh, she can be like that j the Jade from MK11 where it's hit like run, right? walk back, yeah, hit and run, get damage in capitalize and again like you said without having a cameo like Goro to keep you safe on a lot of your moves um, and you have to wait for that charge free time sometimes just playing the safe game is really important yeah Goro is back by the way T-Rex is in an unsafe spot the breaker wouldn't even be spent on this front because Sparks is such a big life lead and now has Goro back too so T-Rex has a lot of work to do and only 20 seconds to do it it's probably not enough let's just be honest oh interesting choice here Sparks believing that they were going to get traded uh, with the cameo, but didn't happen, and so T-Rex goes down in that first round. But what a whiff punish here from Lord T-Rex. Tries to summon out Sento. He is on cooldown now and escapes the Sento sandwich. Yeah, that, uh, there's that. Ooh, right, the cover piece, the Sento bread got hit once again. Big hole in it. This is a big opening for Sparks now. Here, I do like that um, we're seeing that projectile more uh, from Kenshi, but the problem is, is that it's such a recovery off a of block that it, it, it doesn't do what it's intended, so you don't really see T-Rex staying in full screen a lot. You're gonna have to try to figure out a way to advance, but Sparks is just ready for it, cleaning this up very close to getting that kill in this next round. That is a punish! And there you go, Sparks 
on the board ahead, 2-1 against Lord T-Rex right now. Yeah, full steam ahead. I think it's all sparks here on out. Not that a uh, prediction making is a trait of valuable commentary or uh, providing much insight. I mean, a cameo switch, it seems unlikely to you. This is very much the T-Rex unique team with Kenshi Darius. I'd, I'd, I'd be surprised to see anything else. It's Kun Lao. Ooh. I am surprised. I'm surprised too. The great hall. Such unconventional picks from all over mm -hmm. that, but I'm, oh, I'm curious to see how uh, Kenshi would set up with this. I've seen a little bit of Kenshi Lao. Um, so you know how Lao Hat, you your cameo meter will drain the longer you pull Lao Hat? Yeah. You can get very, very advantageous Sento summons by draining Lao perfectly using Lao Hat as much as possible and then switching over to uh, a full Sento. We'll see uh, the reversal might come into play too. There's so much in the way of overwhelming pre-inserted meaty rushdown that I, I think Lao Spin might be, see some use. It used to give a combo. Remember those days? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Okay, this is another launcher. I don't think we'll see Lord T-Rex try to break in this round. If he does, no. it is it's honestly a Hail Mary type of breaker. It's ill-advised. Down goes Sento. Actually, Sento comes, comes back, back on resummon. I mean, why do I even comment on him being down? He's just going to be back. Um, You know, sometimes you it depends. It, yeah. it, it, it all depends on how on how Sparks is managing. I think Sparks and is gone. probably the most expert at this matchup than any of the players that we've seen so far on stream. Yeah. So th there's a lot to be said here about that. Like usually we're seeing um, pokes take out Sento, but Sparks is just ready and that is a launcher and we are now on match point here for Sparks. Pretty even meter too. Uh, even cameos, just about full. No, no confirm, it's a Lao spin. That would have given T-Rex a full combo and a chance to side switch. Spark sets the example for hit confirming right afterwards. Side find solid damage. Oh, we got the launcher too, thanks to the buff. And that's perfect, we set up once again. We get the counter hit to stop the mid. And Lord T-Rex having to use that breaker, that was the last chance to do it. Flawless buff, uh, we open up with Goro, we get the grab. Still sparks. not enough, 25 health points, it's chip damage, but we got the flawless block. That was critical. But still so much work to do for T-Rex with nothing to do it with and no meter for last breath either. He actually just lost the meter doing any expert. I think it might have been more valuable to hold on to it just to get a chance at chip avoided or last breath. Uh, but all notes for a future set, perhaps a future tournament for T-Rex, who put on a great show extending the set to 3-1. Uh, Sparks clean through winners, showing a lot of critical reactions on the process. I got it. Yeah, you I mean, I, I, that one wasn't good. No, uh, no, honestly, if you're not, if you don't know what CR means on the as a team, you wouldn't have gotten it. But I, I was like, oh, I, wait I a almost minute. wish you didn't get it. Okay, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I, I've done, I'm, I'm also guilty of terrible puns. Too. Yeah. It's okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but that was awesome. That was actually a really, like, solid match. And and honestly, it just goes to show you, you better be labbing your options, people at home. I don't want to hear excuses because if Sparks can do it with Tanya. You can do it too.